All right, for today's random performance tip, uh, let's say you're making a dense forest in Unreal with nanite foliage. Uh, keep in mind this tip I'm about to show you only applies if you're using full geometry foliage, meaning no alpha masks, uh, just opaque geometry. So, take this bush here, for example. So if we look at the leaf material, this is, it's common practice to have a two-sided material. That means that the mesh itself has one side of geometry, and the other side, when you enable two-sided materials, will also display a material. So if you want better performance, geometry means very little with nanite. Uh, but materials can affect it pretty heavily. So the thing to do is to take the leaves, flip the normals, merge it all back together so you have double-sided geometry for the leaves. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. And then after that, you'll disable the two-sided material. That ends up putting it the plant in a different bin uh, instead of in the nanite raster bin which benefits you greatly so you see we're inverting the normals here so then i'll take the two I'm going to copy this because I'm doing this to a bunch of them right now. Okay. okay, so now we have one that's merged. It will bump up your triangle count, but like I said, that matters very little with nanite. So the issue you'll have sometimes after that is if I disable this, you'll see the leaves will just disappear. They're completely gone. So why is that happening? It looks like the answer to this is that the two normals are intersecting now. So first, to fix it, we can weld it. And then you'll go to the Deform tab here, Displace. I set it to a small value like 0 0.05, something like that, uh, just so the displacement itself isn't noticeable. But this causes the front and back side normals of the leaves to separate just enough that they don't intersect anymore. So as you'll see, we go back, the leaves are still there. Everything works well, and this keeps these plants out of the nanite raster bin which will give you a hell of a performance boost uh, you can check this by the way by enabling oops advanced nanite visualization which you would do by running that command i've already done this so i can show you here oh never mind i did not do this you can look at your raster bins here. What you want is to see black. Uh, it will change a different color when you get closer to it to indicate that WPO or something to that effect is active. But once you get out of range, you'll see it changes to black. You can see I've already done this to some of the foliage here. So yeah, that is today's tip. Give it a shot.